Yes guys, welcome back to yet another FIFA 21 trading type video. Today, I'm going to be telling you how to make a ton of money. Now, before we start, I'd just like to say one thing. Um, I've really been enjoying the support recently, but if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing as it really means a lot to me. And if you could subscribe, that would be even better. So, I'm going to tell you now how to make a lot of money during this new TOTS promo. There's also, as you should know, a new um, 6 p.m. content coming out tonight. Meaning there's a few things which could happen. Number one, there could be a Serie A team of the season pack. Now, that is probably less likely. The more likely thing is going to be the 85 Serie A plus pick. That is going to be very, very overpowered, guys. So make sure you do that if you do um, if you have enough players. And make sure you watch out and make a ton of money during this new um, 6 p.m. content. So what we're going to do right now is actually head into the transfer market. Now, I am on my PC account. Meaning, um, I'm going to basically... I'm not going to see as many players on the market as you will if you're on the PlayStation or Xbox. Now, the first thing I want you to do is actually filter down to Team of the Season cards now. And that is literally going to be it. See what the cheapest you can buy a Team of the Season card is. I'm not sure how much it's worth. 22k. Now, there's a lot of SBCs out right now, including Nangolo and Lozano, who do require the Team of the Season um, players. I also feel like the Icon Pack does as well. So the best thing to do guys is probably pick up these cheap team of the seasons right now and sell them on when the new promo comes out because that will require a team of the season card. Now, I did not want to spend too much time dwelling on that method. The next method I would like you to spend on is actually probably going to be team of the week sniping. Now, team of the week sniping is one of my favourite things to do. Now, the reason why it's one of my favourite things to do is because you actually have to look into real life football. So you can see... Who's going to get a team of the week? So last week it was Allison because he got the um, header. So look who's played really well this week. I don't know who's played well. And then try and pick them up for a very cheap amount of coins and then sell them on later. Now the reason why this is so good is because when they do get a team of the week, their gold card will go extinct. Meaning less, less of them in the market because people are putting them into SBCs. And a lot of people are desperate for them because again they are extinct. So that is the second method I would like to show you. Now, every single video, I do do some fodder um, players to invest in. Now, I'm going to do a few different ones here. Number one is going to be Rui Patricio. Now, Rui Patricio, I don't really spend too much time dwelling on because he is a goalkeeper. Now, I don't really like spending that much money on goalkeepers, but with Rui Patricio, it's completely different. Now, um, this is because he's Portuguese from the Premier League, so he's extremely easy to link. 9k, a very cheap amount of coins for an 84 rated card. Another 80 rated, 85 rated card I would actually like you to snipe is going to be Koke. Now, Koke is probably one of the best ones because if you get a La Liga Spanish player, he will strong link them. So, definitely try and pick up Koke. I'm not sure how much he's worth. Let me try and see. Well, I assume he's not much at all. So, we'll see how much he's worth now. I assume he's worth around 15k maybe. He's an 85 rated squad um, or 85 rated player. 16.5k. Now that is pretty cheap for an 85 rated player. Again, he's going to a link to a lot of players. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely try and picking up Koke. Now the reason, um, actually no, the method I would like you guys to focus on when picking up these players is actually mass bidding. And if you do not know what mass bidding is, let me show you it now. So what we're going to do is actually type in our amount here. Uh, we'll go for 15k because, uh, I don't know, we'll go for 14k because that's like 2k under his normal price. So what we're going to do is actually to ask for 140k. Now nah, we'll drop down to 13k because we do want to make a bit more profit on this. Again, guys, you'll probably see a lot more players on the market than this because I am on the PC. There's actually only 200,000 live transfer market players. So if you're on PlayStation, there'll probably be at least a whole page of these. So what you're meant to do is actually bid on these players, mass bid on them, um, bid, a bid a lot on them, like 10 players, and then add them to your transfer targets. Now you can see when you get out bid, um, if, that is, if that is the case, pick them up, but do actually have to include tax um, because you do not want to pick up a player for 1k less when he's 16k otherwise you are losing 1600 coins so that is going to be the another fodder player now two more players i'd like to focus on aspas is going to be one of them again 84 rated a lot of these are la liga because they're extremely easy to link so you're going to see a recurring theme there um let me find aspas for you I think he's around 12k as you can see here 10k 12k very very cheap um another player you would like uh you might want to snipe is saul i believe he's 84 rated atletico madrid again similar to coke just one less rating um as you can see here he's around like 11k 12k if i search him up as you can see here 12k so again there's a lot of players on the market you can um, look for now what you can actually do is going to fit bin 
And when you're on foot, bingo is the cheapest by rating. I do this a lot of the time. I go onto the players and look at the rises and drops in the prices. Now, if I see that a player is rising in price, I'm picking him up as soon as I can. And that's what I mean he's been rising in price for the past two days because he's going to continue rising in price. And basically, you can project who will rise in price and who will drop in price by looking at the um, price range and when they've dropped and when they've rise. So, that is going to be the FIFA 21 trading tips video, like I said at the start of the video. It will be so, so important for me if you could even consider subscribing, as I put a lot, of, a lot of effort into these videos. I upload two videos a day, so if you could subscribe, that will really show your support to the channel. Anyway, guys, have a nice day, have a nice week, and goodbye.